Hi there, I'm Shidoshi Juliana Galindji and I'm here to explain a very particular nuki called uh, Nuki Sasai Gyakutsuki that is actually a technique that we can see on Kaze Arashi Seitei Gata and also in Take Nukudaki Seitei Gata. Uh, well, this is a very particular nuki because we use a very low base to do that and to allow the body to keep the balance while doing this I will have to use my resistance, my leg resistance and a very particular leg positioning to keep me in a short distance from the opponent to actually be accurate on the target. So to do that the first thing that we need to do is as we are dealing with a very short my, the first common mistake while practicing this nuki is bringing the sword like a omote nuki. But actually, when we use a ichimonji nuki or a omote nuki, it means that I have this whole distance uh, from the opponent, and that is a my that we won't have here. This is a nuki that we will apply as a dei movement. It means that I'm going to anticipate the attack and I am finishing my attack before the opponent finishes him. So in this case, I have to lower my base, so I'll step forward with my right leg, and then my left leg will actually cross, and both legs will be touching each other. So just like this. While I'm doing this, I'll start bringing my hara down, so by bending my right leg, my left leg goes really next to it and I'm going to bring my whole body in a very, very low base. So to, to, to keep my balance here, I have to contract my whole muscle group from legs, gluteus, hara and also my back. So let's put together with the arms movement now. As I'm going to actually do a DI technique, I'll step forward and to do that and avoid actually uh, expand that distance, I will bring just like a tate nuki. Then, by doing a short thumb movement, I'll bring the tsuka down and I'll bring the tsuka to my left hand. So that's the sasai. Sasai means that I'm going to uh, support the sword here. By doing that, I'll be able, as is Igiako, the blade should be facing me, and I will step. The target commonly are neck, that exactly area, the base of the neck, or between the mandibular structure, right here. So that's why I must be really close to the opponent to do that. A very interesting Harage detail of this technique is the angle of the arm. If we see here, when I bring the ha or the hamon, the sharp edge, to me, I have an arc with my arm. So I have shoulders, elbow and wrist doing more or less a triangle. So just by using the right hand, I have no uh, strength to do that suki with balance, okay? Because I have that arc here. That's why we need the left hand. So when I do that and my left hand comes to support, to do the sasai on this nuki, the left arm will be relaxed, the right arm will be contracted. And I will press the tsuka against the palm of my hand. By doing this, we have the young structure, the contracted arm, and the in structure, the relaxed arm here, giving support and actually forming what they consider a third energy. The third energy here will be the power of the, the tsuki. Okay? So the strength and energy that goes through the sword. The common point will be the tsuka. So by doing that, I will have possibilities of a really fast and strength tsuki. So again, I'll bring just like a tade. I bring my base down, turn the sharp edge to me, bring the left leg and step. That same movement 
We'll find with Hazushiri and Hazushiri Dari on Kazera Arash. It will be just the same thing, but by bringing the right light diagonal. And Hazushiri Dari. Left goes after right line. The same variation occurs to Nuki Sasai Yoko Tsuki. It's not the case here, but the only difference is that the blade will be lateral when I actually push it against my hand. If you cannot uh, achieve balance by bringing the base so low, uh, it's not a problem for the students that are actually starting training this. We just have to keep a medium base, but I must be sure to bend both legs and that the left leg touches my right leg. So again, if you can do that completely, and remember, I don't touch the ground with my knee, I don't touch the tatami. I'll just bring a medium base, but please be sure that your back will be mounted. And that's it. I hope it will help you in your future practice. Thank you very much.